Hi everybody, my name is uh, Stronghold. I'm a level 70 prot warrior and um, after viewing the WoW Hobbs videos I decided to make a, my own sort of WoW video blog and this is my character, um, a prot warrior as I said. This is me flying down to uh, Mount Hyjal for the night. Um, as many of you who have been playing for a while know, my gear isn't the best as you can see, but uh, it's enough to to do Mount Hyjal and my skill definitely makes up for the lack of gear. Um, I know I'm not the best warrior out there, but I believe I can be okay. Um, I have multiple characters that will be shown through these videos. There's Stronghold, which is a level 70 prop warrior. I have Pain, which is a level 70 prop paladin. And Unholy, who is a level 70 uh, destru shadow destruction warlock. Anyway, this is me flying down to Mount Hyjal. Soon I'll be at the entrance and be ready to go. Uh, I get this is uh, actually way before the invites, but uh, as you see, I'm out here flexing, getting ready for it, getting ready to do it. Um, this is the first wave. It's a wave just simply full of ghouls. Uh, any of you who've done Mount Hyjal know it's a very easy wave. The first few waves are always very easy. Um, my computer has a little trouble handling the speed of Mount Hyjal, the amount of enemies, but I'm able to pick them up and uh, I try to pick up as many enemies off the paladin as I can because he's tanking quite a few and can put some heavy damage on him. <clears throat> As we move on, we go to the next wave, which this wave is ghouls and uh, crypt fiends. If um, any of you who have played Warcraft 3 know that these buggers are ranged, but in this they only shoot a little bit of range and like to come into melee a lot. But um, I take a few ghouls on this wave, try to grab as many as I can, and so far the waves seem to be going well, and our guild's doing great, and we... We look forward to the first boss, but eventually we run into some problems. This is the first abomination wave. These are where the waves actually become to begin to get difficult. This abomination wave is um, fairly difficult because the abominations hit hard, and the prop pally, being that that's what he's doing, is in, is going to end up tanking quite a few. Now, when he tanks quite a few, they are going to hit him for some hard damage. Now, directly, these abominations don't hit for too much damage. They hit for maybe. 2k, 1k, so 1500 somewhere around there, but they have a knockdown ability which hits for about 3, 3.5k. Three um, now that, it will knock him down and allow him to be hit easily, especially if there's more than one abomination on him. It actually hits me pretty hard as well. So my job here is to tank as many of these guys as I can, uh, try to pick them up off of him, use Thunderclap, slow down their attack speed. Uh, uh, all tanks, all our good prot tanks out there know that improved Thunderclap is a must for raiding. Um, I pick them up, I do what I can, um, he goes down pretty hard in these waves, but he does great. The only problem is, we did this wave just fine, uh, I don't have a clip of the next few waves, but we do get to wave 8, the wave before the boss, and we run into problems because, uh, our tanks get shot up right away by the casters that run with these groups sometimes, the warlocks, I believe, or some, or the nether necromancers, something like that, but, um... We get these down, it looks good still, but it's wave 8 that always gets us. The nethermancers can easily take down a tank if they see him in the beginning. Uh, as you can see, I'm looking at who's dead. After this, though, we ended up doing a heroic slave pins. Um, this is my dad, Sabron. He's a holy priest and my main healer. But this is us in heroic slave pins. Um, we did not get the first boss down in Mount Hyjal, but afterwards we decided to take a break, go do an easy heroic. As you can see again, Sabron's in here with me. He's my dad. We do a lot of things together. Uh, you'll probably see him in quite a few of my videos. He carries, he uses multiple characters as well, including Sabron, uh, level 70 Holy Priest, and Iceman, a level 70 uh, Frost, Arcane Frost Mage. Um, but here we are in Heroic Slave Pins. Not much going on, so I'm not going to show you all the trash pools. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the... Um, Definitely going to move on to the bosses, so I know it's all what you, what you all want to see, <laughs> because trash can get very boring. Uh, this is Rockmar. He's a very, very easy boss. Um, Undergear tanks will have problems being that he can hit kind of hard with his um, bleed effect, where if you're not healed up to full, then the bleed effect hits you hard, and you can die from it. But luckily I have Stabron on me, and my gear's good enough to make this guy have little to no damage on me. Zebron, though, um, he has a tendency to love to use Circle of Healing. He recently just went Deep Holy uh, from being dis uh, Discipline Holy for a long time, and so he's loving this Circle of Healing, so he's using that quite often. You'll see that a lot. Um, I'm not actually a priest, so I have no idea 
the effectiveness of it. I just think it's quite, he uses it quite often. Uh, so rock market's down really quickly if for any of you have done this. So we move on, uh, clear some more trash, and we're on Quagmire on now. Um, pretty simple boss fight here. We're just um, DPSing him down. We have the shaman dropping a poison cleansing totem for the poison that he's poison bolts that he spits, and uh, I'm putting as much aggro as I can on him. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm not getting hit as much as I would like, so my rage is very low. Um, I actually get quite a bit here. Um, for most prot warriors, you'll notice that I keep no rage. Like I'm on a constant um, heroic strike shield slam spam which is a problem because most uh, warriors nowadays have I've been noticing don't don't like to use a uh, heroic strike because they're constantly keeping aggro just waiting for the shield slam which I personally don't agree with but some ha some enjoy it um, as you can see our mage pulled aggro that's Elgana I've been trying to kill him the whole time um, I thought I'd show you my paladin this is pain um, he I use him for magister terrace to do the AoE pulls I sometimes bring him in for that um, his his gear is mainly for spell damage, so I don't put him up, put him in much for anything other than that. But as you can see, I can do this, and um, hopefully I'll get some more videos for you guys, and I'll put them out. You can tell me how you like it. Um, rate this video. Tell me what you think. Um, this guy was actually made after Wow Hub, so thanks, Wow.